For a prolonged period, a relentless wave of news surrounding Boeing has dominated the headlines, exposing the turbulent state of the aviation industry and the deep instability plaguing Boeing itself. Yet, amid all this chaos, don't be fooled into thinking that Boeing's fiercest competitor, Airbus, has been working smoothly. In reality, Airbus is grappling with a series of grave challenges concerning its aircraft, some so catastrophic that they dwarf even Boeing's infamous troubles with the 737 MAX. So, what exactly is happening with Airbus, and how deeply have these issues destroyed the industry? Let's dive into. When airlines decide to purchase the Airbus A320 family, it always offers two engine options. Previous generation A320 models had two choices, the CFM56 variant or the V2500 engine from International Aero Engines. Today, if airlines purchase a new fleet of Airbus A320ES, they still have two engine options. CFM Leap 1A, similar to the engine on the 737 MAX, or the Pratt & Whitney PW1100G, part of the geared turbofan engine family. In contrast, the MAX only has one engine option, the CFM Leap 1B, which is used on all 737 MAX models. But this situation led to a result. Currently, some airlines are facing serious issues with a large number of aircraft grounded due to problems related to Pratt and & Whitney and their geared turbofan engines. This situation seems to show no signs of improvement, and do you know, the overall impact on lost revenue from grounded aircraft could be even more severe than the grounding of the 737 MAX. What is happening with these planes? The cause of this incident is probably related to the development of the engine. Before the advent of the GTF engine, Pratt & Whitney faced extremely strong competition from major industry players like General Electric and Safran, especially in the narrow-body aircraft engine segment exemplified by the Airbus A320 and Boeing 737. In the 2000s, as the narrow-body aircraft market continued to grow, Pratt & Whitney realized they could no longer maintain their dominant position as they had in previous decades. Competitors such as General Electric with the CFM56 engine gained the upper hand and nearly dominated the narrow-body aircraft engine market, while Pratt & Whitney was left with only a few maintenance contracts for older engines like the V2500. This led to a crucial issue for Pratt & Whitney. They needed a solution not only to maintain their competitive position, but also to continue generating revenue from future engine maintenance contracts. One way to address this was to develop a more advanced engine technology that could provide higher performance and reduce operating costs for short and medium haul aircraft, which are the dominant types in the market. The geared turbofan engine was the solution chosen by this manufacturer. Designed with a gearbox between the fan and the rest of the engine, the GTF helps reduce the fan's rotational speed, which not only provides better fuel efficiency but also reduces emissions, a crucial factor in modern aviation. However, developing an engine with a gearbox was no easy task. Previous attempts to design a geared engine for commercial aircraft had failed, demonstrating that this technology was highly challenging. Nevertheless, Pratt & Whitney continued to push forward with the research and development of the GTF. Investing in this technology was not just an effort to compete with major rivals, but also part of the company's long-term strategy to maintain steady revenue from engine maintenance contracts. If successful, the engine would not only serve current narrow-body aircraft, but also have the potential for larger versions for wide-body aircraft in the future, opening up opportunities to maintain a significant market share in the aviation engine industry. But just how good is the GTF that P&W has so much faith in it? The PW1100G engine is a technical masterpiece with a groundbreaking design where a reduction system, gearbox, is placed between the fan and the rest of the engine. This system allows the fan to operate more efficiently at a slower rotational speed, which is crucial because the fan generates most of the thrust and requires high durability and strength. Despite this, the design helps reduce weight and complexity in other parts of the engine. The fan operates more effectively with large blades spinning slowly, so it doesn't need to be as powerful as before and can use fewer blades. This reduces the overall weight of the engine. Moreover, because the fan rotates more slowly, the fan casing can also be made lighter while still being durable enough to hold the blades in place if they break off. Other components like the compressor and turbine can still spin faster thanks to the gearbox system, optimizing the speed of each part within the engine. This significantly reduces the number of compressor and turbine stages, thereby reducing the engine weight and increasing efficiency. 
A larger fan with a slower rotational speed also helps reduce noise and increases the bypass ratio, delivering superior performance and fuel savings. And this is the time for the problems to arise. On the surface, the introduction of the geared turbofan engine seemed to help P&W achieve its goal. By 2020, Pratt and Whitney's market share had risen back to 35%, this time with an upward trend. However, there was one issue. Jet engines not only take time to generate profits, but also need time to reveal all the weaknesses and technical flaws in the design. Despite careful lessons learned from previous engine failures, problems can still arise when these engines are used in real-world operations. They encountered a number of technical faults with the P-1000G engine, leading to a significant number of Airbus A320neo aircraft being grounded. First, one of the biggest challenges faced by Pratt and Whitney's geared turbofan engine is the reduction gearbox system, the key component in the engine's groundbreaking design. While the theory behind using a gearbox suggested improvements in fuel efficiency and noise reduction. In reality, developing a gearbox powerful and reliable enough to withstand the forces of a large aircraft engine proved to be a massive technical challenge. Airlines faced issues with overheating and gearbox wear occurring much faster than originally anticipated. These problems forced Pratt and Whitney to implement emergency maintenance directives requiring more frequent inspections and gearbox replacements, leading to significant increases in maintenance costs and extended aircraft downtime. This reality created a considerable financial burden for airlines and raised questions about the long-term sustainability of this technology in real-world operational environments. Secondly, another major challenge relates to the materials selected for the engine parts. While high temperature materials were expected to improve performance and reduce weight, the reality was not as anticipated. These materials failed to maintain the necessary durability under real-world operating conditions, leading to cracking, wear, or even severe damage, requiring the engine to be disassembled and repaired. These issues not only raised concerns about reliability, but also directly impacted airlines, particularly those operating the Airbus A320neo. Hundreds of aircraft had to be grounded or delayed during their entry into service, causing significant revenue losses. And surprisingly, some experts even suggested that the impact of this failure could be more severe than the earlier Boeing MAX grounding. While Boeing's issues were related to critical safety factors, the disruptions caused by the PW1000G engine faults were more widespread, longer-lasting, and significantly diminished airlines' operational capabilities. Manufacturers have confirmed that, after a few years, it is hoped that the fixing will allow the engine to operate more efficiently and potentially save even more fuel. Startup times have also gradually been reduced, which is notable since both the CFM Leap and P-1000G engines took a long time to start, but that's another story. This gradual improvement process is what Pratt & Whitney seems to have planned for their PW-1000G engine line, starting with the GTF Advantage Pro program in 2021, with the initial plan to put these engines into service by 2024. However, non-stop there, issues continued to arise. Pratt & Whitney's GTF engine faced a series of problems since its deployment, beginning with initial faults related to bearing leaks, cooling, and combustion, especially under harsh environmental conditions like those in India. While these problems have been gradually addressed, a new, more serious issue emerged in 2023 related to the high-pressure turbine. The manufacturer discovered that the metal powder used to manufacture the turbine discs had been contaminated, causing cracking and damage, leading to the need for inspections of thousands of engines. The serious consequences were unavoidable. But how did it kill airlines? This issue not only affected new engines, but also extended to engines produced from 2015 to 2021. Initially, the company only required the inspection of around 200 engines, but this number later increased to more than 1,600 engines, meaning the inspection and repair times would extend from 250 to 300 days per engine. This led to hundreds of aircraft being grounded, severely impacting airlines worldwide. India's Go Air, now Go First, had to file for bankruptcy due to grounding its Airbus A320neo fleet because of engine issues, while Spirit Airlines in the U.S. also faced high operating costs and was forced to ground its newest aircraft. Other airlines like Indigo, Wizz Air, Volaris, Hawaiian Airlines, and Lufthansa were also affected, depending on the aircraft's production date. 
However, some issues continued into 2024, such as two Airbus A321. Neo aircraft from United Airlines encountering engine problems just after 70 hours of flight, raising concerns about Pratt and Whitney's ability to fully resolve these issues. Despite efforts to improve and compensate, the problem has not been completely fixed. Ultimately, while the GTF engine offers impressive performance and fuel savings, the continuous incidents and crises have tarnished Pratt & Whitney's reputation and caused significant disruptions in the global aviation industry. The company had to spend $3 billion on compensation, but the damage could be even greater. To address these challenges, Pratt & Whitney acknowledged the issues and committed to resolving them. The company invested heavily in research and development to improve the gearbox design and the materials used in the engines, specifically aiming to enhance durability and performance under harsh operating conditions. Additionally, the manufacturer focused on refining manufacturing and maintenance processes, strengthening the ability to inspect, repair, and replace damaged components. This effort aims to ensure that malfunctioning engines can be returned to service as quickly and efficiently as possible. Despite efforts to address technical issues, repairing and replacing GTF engines has proven both costly and time-consuming, leading to significant operational disruptions for airlines. The strict maintenance schedules required Pratt and Whitney to expand repair facilities and streamline processes to handle the surge in demand. Airlines like Indigo, Spirit Airlines, and GoFirst faced severe financial losses and had to ground parts of their fleets, while investors grew increasingly concerned about the company's profitability. The mounting pressure pushed this business to allocate $3 billion for compensation, but this has done little to ease concerns. Questions linger about whether the company can fully resolve the persistent design and manufacturing problems in the GTF engines. Resolving this crisis is pivotal not only for the future of the PIA-1000G series, but also for its position in the highly competitive global aviation market. The geared turbofan engine, despite its challenges, remains a groundbreaking leap in aviation, holding the promise of transformative advancements in fuel efficiency and emission reduction. If Pratt & Whitney successfully overcomes these hurdles and refines this technology, it could redefine the benchmarks for future jet engines, setting a new standard for the industry. The lessons learned from this crisis will not only strengthen Pratt & Whitney, but also drive the entire aviation sector toward more robust design, manufacturing, and maintenance protocols. These obstacles, while daunting, might simply be stepping stones on the journey to a more sustainable and efficient future for air travel. How soon do you think P&W can resolve these issues and turn the tide? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Thank you for watching, and may all your journeys be safe and smooth.